We're going to talk now about an emotional and dramatic morning at Cape Canaveral. Wounded Congresswoman Gabby Giffords is there to watch her husband make history. Commander Mark Kelly and his crew are set to blast off on the Space Shuttle Endeavor's final flight. It is the second attempt at launch after the first one was scrubbed two weeks ago. And our Bob Woodruff is live there at the Cape. What a morning, Bob. Good morning. It, it really is, Robin. You know, we know now that it, actually Gabby's going to be watching this launch from the top of the roof of the NASA building right here. The schedule is dead on right now, along with the other family members. You can be watching this, the other families of, of the other astronauts. And this has also got this very romantic uh, gesture to this. Both Gabby and Mark have now decided to actually swap their wedding rings. He's going to be walk, uh, wearing hers around his neck up in space, and she'll be wearing his right here on the ground. And here is Commander Mark Kelly. Our this morning, in the final commander. moments before the launch, the crew of the Endeavor suited up and headed out to board the shuttle. While at this private setting yesterday, astronaut Mark Kelly bid goodbye to his wife, Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. It's a special goodbye, the final launch of the Endeavour, and the first one for Kelly since the tragic shooting in Tucson. Well, Gabrielle Giffords is too tough to let this beat her. This was the last time we saw her two weeks ago, leaving Houston for the first attempted launch. Her chief of staff says these trips have been therapeutic. It seems, you know, that it, she understands everything. I mean, if not everything, almost everything. So she's really there. I mean, she follows direction. She's laughs at jokes, recognizes friends. Once in space, Kelly's crew will deliver a cosmic ray detector that may give scientists a glimpse into the very first moments of the universe, just after the Big Bang. This is the next to last shuttle launch. One final mission remains, the Atlantis in July. Now we're also told that Gabby's condition, she's actually speaking very clearly now. She's not really slurring her words, although she's lost a lot of her words. She's also singing as a kind of therapy. She can remember the lyrics of most of her favorite, and, uh, her favorite songs. And she's also walking better than she did even uh, two weeks ago, Robin. Her recovery is simply remarkable. All right, Bob, thank you so much. And we will have live coverage of the Shuttle Endeavors launch this morning at 8.56 a.m. Eastern, right here on ABC. Yeah, you saw that countdown clock mm -hmm. right behind mm -hmm. Bob.